Hey everybody, Jordan Katz here, KW from the block. Have our team leader here, Mark George. Just wanted to go over hey some there. market stats with you guys and really get into the details of the market. So first thing I was noticing when we looked at a year prior, we are down at 31% in new listings. So Mark, what does that show you about people selling their home right now? Well, there's a, a, a few factors that are involved in that. Um, the the decreased inventory has had a lot of our otherwise uh, inner city buyers, you know, people that are selling a home that would have been bought here also locally, they've got a concern over a place to buy. So they're not putting their home on the market. Right. Uh, we've got a lot of um, aging homeowners that would have in earlier markets had probably either moved in with some family or uh, perhaps into an assisted living facility of some kind. Um, they're actually going through a movement known as age in place right now, mm. where they're modifying the their homes and uh, and staying in them much longer than than in years past. And then, of course, we've had our our onslaught of out of state cash buyers that are coming in, both yep. individually and institutional buyers um, buying individual properties for cash, and then in many cases packets of properties. Um, that uh, unfortunately never hit the market. Right. Right. So, so there's a lot of inventory that um, is either being bought or frozen due into these market conditions. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then the other one that I was looking at here is closed sales being down almost 18% from mm -hmm. the past year. So, what is that showing us with uh, people selling their home? Well, it's probably uh, a just directly related to the amount of inventory. With with less inventory, of course, is going to come less sales. Um, I think a key thing to consider on on these reports is that it's primarily resale, and and one of the the factors that we just don't and, and have a very difficulty getting is the number of new construction sales mm -hmm. that occur, which particularly here in Central Florida make up a huge percentage. Definitely. So um, that number we're not aware of at any given point, but with that said, look, the every market has to go through a cycle. And al although we're in what would be considered a downward trend right now in the number of transactions, well, what's happened to the, the actual average uh, sale price? The sale price has actually increased 2.2%. Right. So in spite of all this otherwise negative news about volume and, yep. and number of sales, prices are still rising. Yeah. Uh, which, mind you, that is considered about a normal appreciation, three percent probably as a as a historical trend for for normal appreciation. And over the last couple of years, we've been seeing like twenty percent, thirty percent. You know, people that have bought their home in the last couple of years who have doubled their home value that is not normal. Right. And uh, and we've needed to pump the brakes on on some of this runaway appreciation because it. As good as it feels, it really is a problem for the economy and for future homeowners with inflation. Definitely. And doubling down on that, now that you have decreased sales and increased uh, prices there, what are we seeing with the agents? Hmm. Is is that going to make for stronger agents that are going to survive in the business because other ones can't survive? Or, or what are we seeing there? Yeah, so over the last 20 years here in Central Florida, uh, our agent count has pretty well tripled. Yeah. And um, now, interestingly, the, the, the volume, the number of transactions is, is pretty well unchanged, and yeah. in some cases down. So, you know, as you can imagine, uh, we had a, a large influx of new licensees, which is every industry needs, you know, new people involved in it. You know, you're a perfect example and, and could not be a better example of what a new agent should be over here, Mr. Jordan Katz. Appreciate that. A uh, little shameless plug for our team <laughs> member, of course. And, uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that not everybody is going to make it. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I firmly believe that these downward trending markets are really a good thing for the industry yes. because, you know, ultimately it is a survival of the fittest type business. And, uh, you know, as, as the opportunity goes down, then the quality of the service needs to go up. Um, and, you know, our, our particular business here, real estate, can always use an upgrade in the service and, and quality of it department. So Definitely. this is good news overall. Fantastic news.
the last one I was looking at on here is the average days on market being doubled. Hmm. So what is that telling us? Well, and, and that's kind of a, a could be a scary stat, uh, normally speaking. It's like, oh my gosh, it's taking me twice as long to sell a house. Yeah. Uh, but if you look at it, our days on market a year ago was 20 days. So it's not even three weeks. Yep. You get a home under contract and now it's 40. But if you were to look at any like big trend, 100 year trend, probably 60, 65 days as an average that it would take to sell a home in a normal market. So mm -hmm. although it's doubled in the last year, it's probably still under average historically. And you know, you're going to get a home sold within a, a month or two tops in most cases. Yeah. And do we think that might be coming from a market where you could sell a home for almost any price? Mm. And so some sellers are coming to a reasonable price now where they're understanding this is where the market is currently at. Yeah, that's definitely a big part of it uh, where the interest rate environment we were coming out of made right. the affordability just so much broader that, you know, as inventory came on, there was a much bigger pool of buyers to buy that inventory. And so the multiple offer environment, as you remember, was just, it was out of control. Exactly. You know, now we're more in, uh, you know, individual negotiation environment. We do see multiple offers from time to time, but not near what we used to. Right. And, uh, and so that's creating a kind of more of a, what we would call a normal uh, purchase environment within a seller's market. Definitely which is which is a better place to be for both sides of the deal because it's you know as nice as it is to get 15 offers on there that can be confusing for the seller and as you can imagine quite frustrating for the buyer definitely All right so there you go well the last thing i wanted to talk about which i'm sure everyone listening wants to know currently what's going on with mortgage rates hmm. where are we at so the stat that we have for you guys right now is it's up a little bit from the prior month and from last year it's up about a percent. So we're looking at 6.6% .6 yeah. right now for mortgage rates. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? What do we think about mortgage rates? Well, the the measure behind that, I mean, ultimately, look, but we you can't run a business, which our government is a business, on negative interest rate, which it had for a long time, or zero for that matter, for right. a long time. And so at some point, the Fed's got to make some money off this money. And uh, so now the measure, which has been quite effective, was part of an, an inflation slowdown. And, uh, you know, just based on the transaction, you can see that that's worked in this sector of real estate. Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as the crystal ball goes, I got to see if I can find it around here. Um, it's very, of course, impossible to say, but you know, all indicators point to within the next six to 12 months that we're going to see that pull back. Yep. But guys, we, what we've got to remember is that we've been in this low interest rate environment, you know, 2%, 3%, 4% for so long that that's felt normal. But the reality here is that if you were to look back over the history of real estate, you know, 5 and 6% has been very common. We've been upwards of close to 20% in some environments. The argument to that is that well pricing is at an all-time high so when you layer this higher interest rate against that higher pricing well then right. the affordability is just way out of whack yep and and we get that right so but even still expecting it to go back down into the fours and threes anytime soon probably not going to happen so if um if there's a consumer out there that's waiting for the rates to drop to what they were you know historically over the last five ten years probably going to be waiting a while. All right. So let's, let's look at more the, what is involved in uh, owning real estate over a long period of time. Uh, real estate is not a get rich quick business. It's a get rich slow business. And, and as we say, uh, don't wait and buy real estate, buy real estate and then wait. Right. Couldn't have said it better. I appreciate you running this with me and look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thanks Fantastic. So Thanks for having us.